So while everyone talks about Anthropic's cloud code, China hasn't actually stopped working on their big AI models themselves. And now many people claim that these new AI models are not only cheaper, often by over 90% or being free entirely, but in some cases they supposedly even outperform the American competition. So in this video we will take a look at the best of the best that China has delivered today to see how this competition actually compares to Claude Opus 4, the world's leading AI coding model that by the way is much more expensive. Hey what's up guys my name is Rob and I've been a coder for over 20 years but now I teach people how to build their ideas with AI in ways that even non-technical people can understand. I do this here on YouTube and inside of my AI coding blueprint which you can learn more about in the description down below. But to really understand how dangerous this competition really is let's take a look at how much they actually cost and how much cheaper these Chinese models really are. The two big models competing right now are Kimi K2 from Moonshot AI and Quen3 Coder from Alibaba. Both of them can be run on all types of platforms but you can clearly see that even compared to Sonnet 4, let's not even talk about Opus 4, they are so much cheaper. Kimi K2 on Moonshot AI directly, which is the slowest way to run this model, is 85% cheaper than Sonnet 4. And if you compare the SWE scores, which is a benchmark for agentic coding, you see that all of them are not that far apart, with especially Alibaba's Quen3 Coder, which was just released last night, getting really close to Sonnet and Opus 4. But the real question is, can these open source models from China compete with the American competition? Well, let's put them to the test. And because both of them are open source, that means they are completely free and anyone can work with them. It is only fair that we are also using an open source alternative to Claude Code. And the only one with similar features to Claude Code right now is Open Code. I have tested it a little bit, and the cool thing about it is that unlike Claude Code, it works with every model provider you want. So, for example, you can set it up with Kimi K2 or Quen3 through Grok or Open Router. And that is exactly what I've done here, because for this challenge I'm going to give both AI models the exact same prompt that I gave Claude Code with Opus 4. It took Claude Code 13 minutes to build this ChatGPT-like interface, and yes, this is a fully working AI chat that integrates OpenAI's ChatGPT through Vercel's AI SDK, which is a really cool library that you should definitely check out. It even remembers who I am after a few messages back and forth. Pretty cool. And honestly, much easier to build than you would think. But now let's get started with both of these open code instances. On the left, you can see Kimi K2 Instruct through Grok, and on the right, you can see the latest Quen3 coder through Open Router. And the best thing is that I am actually going to time this, not only to see if they can do it, but also how long it's going to take them and what the result will look like. Also, if you look closely once we get started in the top right corners of open code, you will be able to follow exactly how much money we are spending while we do this test. So I've pasted the actual prompt, which I'll leave for free download in the description down below if you want to get it and test it all yourself. And now let's get started. I'm going to start the timer and we're off to the races. All right. So if you are used to Claude code, you'll see, you know, that it will look very, very similar. So here you can see that open code actually creates really cool to-do lists, just like Claude code would. They also fetch things so they do like web searches and can download whole documentations it's really cool just like here kimi k2 instruct did the same thing but the to-do list is significantly shorter Ugh. Oof. let's see okay it looks like quinn 3 already has an issue here because i asked it not to ask me anything to set up the project and it looks like it didn't really work let's see this is an interactive command that usually requires you to say yes or no, but Claude Code and Cursor, they can bypass it by manipulating this command, basically. And it looks like Quen3 Coder has a bit of a problem with this, while Kimi K2 Instruct just blasted through. You can also see that Quen3 Coder is a bit slow. Like now it says let, and we're waiting for it to continue writing, which it just started, but yeah. So at just over two minutes, Kimi K2 Instruct says that it successfully managed to set it up. Now let's actually test it. I'll just have to put in the environment API key and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so let's open what, wow, okay, that's not bad. So this is Kimi K2, right? 
Let's just say something and say, hi there. That's wild, okay. Uh, my name is Robin, what about you? Okay, it's using the wrong model probably, but Claude did the same thing. That's interesting, but do you remember my name? Wow, okay, that's wild. So if you compare this to what Cla Claude called, took 13 minutes to set this up and Kimi K2 Instruct did it in two minutes 20. That is pretty wild. Okay, Quen, you're on. <laughs> now it's going to be really, really interesting because it works, right? It totally works. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked that this works, actually. Let us just like uh, put the timer in front again. And here yeah, it looks like it might get... No, it's still working. Quen 3 Coder is really slow somehow. What model are you using for this? Because it answered with GPT-3, which ChatGPT sometimes does, but I just want to make sure that we use the correct model. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're using GPT-4. Interesting. That's exactly what I asked it to do. 2 minute 20, guys. 2 minute 20. That's, uh, that's, that's rough. That's rough for Claude. And you see, Quen somehow is doing nothing. Even though it's supposedly smarter. Let me, let me interrupt this and say like, you appear to have gotten interrupted. It is really slow. And you see, I already spent more money <laughs> than on Grok uh, with Kimi K2 Instruct. What is even going on here? Yeah, that does not look good. That does not look good. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this, and I'm gonna give it a chance to do it again. But it's gonna it's gonna continue. The timer is gonna continue running, you know. So we emptied the directory, and we're gonna give Quen one more chance. But we're already seven minutes in, so. This is extremely impressive from Kimi K2 and really disappointing from honestly both Quen 3 Coder and Opus 3, but at least Opus 3 did it, you know? So now we're only like $1.12 or so in because we spent like $1 on Quen 3. We're now nine minutes, nine and a half minutes in almost and Quen doesn't do anything. This is very disappointing, I have to say. Like it seems like it got stuck again. No, actually it's still browsing. <laughs> Something just changed. It just doesn't write any code. Now, wow. It's like already we're like 20 cents in, 12% into our token context window, and it's just creating a task list now. Maybe the takeaway here is that Kimi K2 Instruct is actually a pretty good model, but open code is not a good enough alternative for cloud code yet. And maybe we'll have to do another video testing them with maybe Cursor and Klein. Man, what is Quinn 3 Coder doing here? It says, let me create a task list, which was like three minutes ago, you know? Like, why is this so slow? Are you kidding me? No, this is really disappointing. Quinn 3 just cannot... Oh, maybe it did now. Okay. Nice. Okay, so it did set up the project for once. Let's see if it can actually complete it at least. Also, let me bring the, <laughs> the countdown back in the front. So it looks like Quinn 3 Coder now finally does everything that it needs to. We've spent another $1.27. We've messed around a lot with Kimi K2 Instruct by now. We haven't restarted it. And it's $1.08. And remember, we restarted Quinn 3 Coder about at $1, I think. So now we spend more than twice as much on Quinn 3 Coder. And we still haven't achieved anything. It is still initializing the project. My God. Maybe it is good at other things, but like web projects, it doesn't seem to be especially good. While it's not complete yet, I've already opened the chat that Quen is creating on the right side here, just to see, you know, what the differences are and to prepare to test it. I've already added the API key as well. So as soon as Quen tells me, we can test it.
Now we're like almost 17 minutes in and we should like maybe deduct about half of that in the best case scenario because we had to restart it. But even then, you know, look at the cost. We're now almost $4 in for such a simple demo and just a dollar. And we have played so much. It was like 30 cents or something. I don't remember, but it was really, really cheap with Kimi K2 Instruct through Grok. But yeah. Okay, now it wants to test the chat functionality. I'm going to interrupt it here. And I'm going to test it myself. And I say, hi there. Okay, okay. My name is Robin. Uh, who are you? Okay, that's pretty good. Um, what AI model powers you? Okay, who made you? Okay, and now the biggest test. Do you remember who I am? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, great. So it is now, I'm, I'm giving up here because it is now, uh, it is now 18 minutes in. And while Quen did somewhat accomplish it after two attempts, it didn't even remember the context, right? So if I, on the other side, I'm Robin, by the way, and you, and then I just ask it, what's my name? What's my name again? Your name is Robin, right? Oh, let me try to see it. Let me, let me like refresh this just. Hi, I'm Robin. What's my name again? Haha, it did actually. Interesting. Okay, so maybe it did. Okay, so <laughs> about 18 minutes, 18 minutes, right? Let's give it like 18 minutes because we had to do it again with Quen3, but in the end, both got there. So about 18 minutes in, Kimi K2 Instruct is the clear winner here. It only took about 2 minutes 20 and it created a full chat GPT chatbot for 30, 40 cents. I don't remember. It was extremely cheap and extremely fast. Just as a reminder, Claude Code with Opus 4 took about 13 minutes and it's hard to test how much it cost because I'm on a Claude Max subscription, but it would have cost a lot more. And then Quen three coder took two attempts and four dollars to build a finally also working version. Here's the takeaway for me. These models are no longer to be ignored. Yes, they are from China. Yes, they are a lot cheaper. And yes, they are not yet quite as good as Opus in all tasks, but clearly they are getting really good. And if you want to learn how to use these coding tools for yourself, especially if you are a non-technical founder, then check out my AI coding blueprint in the description down below. I just launched a private Discord community where you get direct access to me as well as occasional live streams for members only, where you can ask all your questions and I can get you updated a lot faster with all the things that are happening in the space. I can answer all your questions and I hope to see you there. But if you're brand new and you don't even know what tools to use, I just made a video where I explain which ones I use right here.